Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question. And the question is, when to use X term C in C++ code? Okay, and the answer for that is, when you are writing C++ code and including C code in that, uh, it could be a library also which was written in C before. Okay, and you want to use that C library which was compiled in C language, I mean using GCC or something, and you want to use that library into your C++ code. So you have to recompile your code and include that library's header. Okay, so there comes a linker problem. I'll show you that how that linker problem comes. So let's understand this code here first. So this is my application. This is my C++ program here, app.cpp if you notice here. And this is using dot some C file dot h and this is C file header. It is giving you the, the declaration of function which is defined in this file. Okay, so this is your library which was written long back and now you are using this library and creating this application. Okay, and this header file is including just the declaration part of that library function. So this is just the function you want to use in your app. Okay, so this function is nothing but this function you want to call here okay in your application then you have included this header so it looks pretty much okay here but when you will go and compile that it will create problem why it will create problem we'll see that so first we'll go and compile our legacy code okay legacy code means our c file so it should be compiled like this so we'll compile it so if you will see here this object file is created so this object file could be used in any C++ code. No need to compile this again. Okay. So I, I won't go into much detail of this compilation. So we have compiled this C file. Okay. So now you think you have this library in your hand. Okay. And now you are building your app.cpp here. Okay. So now we'll just go ahead and compile our code. I mean the app file also. So app.cpp and we will compile this so it is compiled so no issue till now so it is compiled if you want to check this app.o has come here so that both files are compiled our legacy library was compiled and our just current application is also compiled but when you will go and link these two files and try to ex create executable it will create an error and that would be a linker error and we'll show that what is that error here. So let's go ahead and minus six. I'm using the latest one and uh, just app.o and cfile.o. Okay. If you link these two file, which means you, you want to create some executable out of it, it will create problem. It will say undefined reference to function here. Why it is saying like that? Even if you have included this header file here, why it is showing you that function is not declared anywhere I mean the defined anywhere so what could be the reason behind that so till now it is giving you the undefined reference error now we will use some command and check the object file of that so what is the name of that function in that if you see here this is our main okay you will never change the name of main in that object file okay but your function this function is changed like it is appended with some extra character here okay this is just because c++ uses name mangling so that it can achieve function overloading okay which is in c++ which is not there in c at all okay so this is the reason it is changing all the function name by its own way and this is the way okay if you will see another compiler they might be attaching some other name okay so the whole idea is if you are writing two functions i will just show you very quickly like integer a so this is surely the case of operator overloading in this okay so we'll just go ahead and compile that code again so that we will get the idea here so we'll compile that now we'll see the uh, symbol table in this case then object o if you see here your add has changed this is one add which is f f means it is having float and another one add is there which is having integer as a type so this is how compiler knows at what situation I am supposed to call what function okay so that's how it discriminate okay between all these functions so add became float in float case and add become integer in this integer case okay so this is how this work and why this function 
is getting mangled because this is the way C++ deal with all the functions in that. But our library which we are using is compiled using GCC okay and it was not compiled with G++ so that name mangling will happen there. So that's why we don't want to change the name of that function. Okay, we want to tell anyhow to the compiler that I don't want to change this function name because I have not mangled this when I was compiling that C file here. Okay, so how to do that? So there is a way just writing extern C which will tell to the compiler that don't change any name which comes under this. Okay, so whatever is under this don't change the name. Okay, so we'll see that how it will work. Now we'll again compile this code. And we'll again dump that now if you will find that function is simply the fun here and if you will go back and you want to check that that function was something like this okay so now we have tell to the compiler I don't want you to change anything which is coming from here okay so this is how it will work and now you have got the function here and this object file I'll just show you this object file is containing function name as function only I mean fun only so we'll check that also name C object file so if you see here this is one function and before your compiler C++ compiler was creating this name and you wanted to call this function so that's why this linker problem was coming because it was telling that function is not there okay whereas you have changed the function name then how you are supposed to get that and that is called name mangling and that is how compiler achieve this function overloading okay so previously you saw that there was some error coming so now if you will compile that code let's say our app dot o and c file dot o if you will compile there won't be any error see there is no error and you can just simply go ahead and run that and this function is simply calling this function I am in C file okay so one one more time if suppose I am not writing it like this and I am going to compile my code which is in C++ so that G++ minus 6 app dot cpp and I am going to compile that minus C it will compile when I am going to link this then it will show you the error it will show this undefined error so and if i will write this extern c here in this case if you will compile this code and again run that it won't show any error okay so we have achieved our function call with help of extern c plus plus